Hi, my name is Akash, and I'm a rising senior at Cupertino High School. In my six weeks here at Boostem, I spent my time constructing what's commonly known as a smart mirror, a personalized dashboard powered by Raspberry Pi. Through Python script and various API keys, I'm able to implement the modules you see present now. Some of these modules include, include the date and time, the weather, my personal calendar, my commute information, my music, and news headlines. But to give it an aesthetic, but to give it an aesthetic effect, I've added an LED strip along the back border of the frame that's controllable from my smartphone. My smartphone can control the color, the brightness, and the alternating patterns of the LEDs. For demonstration, I can turn them on, and I can also alternate it around to different colors. Another feature implemented into the software aspect of my build is the integrated Alexa voice control software. Alexa can add events to my calendar, change my music, and can also control the LEDs just as my smartphone can. To demonstrate this, Alexa, add an event to my calendar. Sure. What day and time? Today at 8 p.m. And what's the name of the event? Eat dinner. <laughs> Should up and Alexa should update my calendar in real time. As you can see, it's updating. Uh, it's updating. <laughs> Another component integrated into my mirror is the PIR motion sensor, which detects motion in the room and whether users present or not. This turns the monitor on and off accordingly. This is especially beneficial as it conserves energy and prevents the monitor from overheating when not in use. Though seemingly simple, this is one of the more complex aspects of my build. And without going too into the technical details as to how I solved the problem, I essentially ran the Python script that runs this PIR sensor in the background at all times when the monitor is on, independent of when the Magic Mirror module software is playing. When, after constructing the frame, I placed the, I, I placed the mirror in as well as the LCD monitor and, and secured them in with wood. After this, I placed in the rest of the components, including the Pi, the power to the, power to the monitor, and the remaining connectivity components. When selecting a project, I wanted to select a project that had an element of software, as I'm previously unfamiliar with it. I also wanted to select a project that would provide benefit in my everyday life. My experiences here at Bluestamp have truly exposed to me what engineering truly entails. I'm going to continue to build, design, and engineer after my experiences here. Thank you. Do you plan anything on adding like more? Like I know you've done enough, but then are you planning any more modifications? Um, modification-wise, I haven't thought too much about it. But for the quick glimpse you saw, the back was really messy, and it results in um, overheating very easily. There's a notification on the monitor that actually comes up when it's overheating, so I'd probably have to go back and refine it more than just masking tape and duct tape. <laughs> so that would probably be like the, um, the next step that I can see in the near future. So you said uh, you didn't know anything about software and all this, but it looks like a very complicated project, so how um, did you go about it? Um, similar to other students, a lot of research and a lot of resources that are actually found on GitHub. Most of the software itself is not mine. However, I spent a lot of this last six weeks familiar, familiarizing myself with the, with Python script and being able to edit and um, edit the modules to my liking was um, crucial to my build. Why does it say it's 6.03 a.m.? <laughs> oh, that's the um, that's that's sunset. Um, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> at this point, yeah. No, yeah. At this point, it's the sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, so this is just an acrylic mirror, uh, acry acrylic mirror, and um, um, when not put behind like a solid surface, you can actually see through both ways. But because the LCD monitor is majority black behind it, um, it's majority black in this empty space right here, it's put on a flat surface, which actually reflects back. From an effort standpoint, what was the hardest part about the project? 
It actually wasn't any of the software component. Um, it was actually building the frame. <laughs> um, let's just say like uh, YouTube makes things look a lot easier than they actually are. I tried making like these angle cuts, and I realized that's not like practical when you have a handsaw. So uh, um, I, you know, I tried my best, but you know, I kind of just went with the, with the square design, and it turned out much nicer than trying to fit together um, unequal angles. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, how did you actually end up constructing the frame? <laughs> Um, just, I mean, just prior, just measuring out prior to everything, um, then cutting them out specific to my lathe. Fortunately enough, I just had to make, like, single line cuts, no more, like, diagonal cuts, and that provided, um, just, honestly, just wood gluing it together at that point. There's no hot glue attached. Right. There's no hot glue. No. <laughs>